hey guys welcome back again to the channel thank you so much for clicking on this video today we are going out and mr aj is going to be getting his hair I'm going to pick by a chinese barber i'm going to show you guys how it goes it's the first time a Chinese person will be giving him a haircut. Yeah, that's what we're doing today. If you're new to the channel, thank you so much for clicking on this video. Please make sure to subscribe to the channel, <laughs> like our videos, share our videos, and all that good stuff. Thank you guys so much. Let's see how his hair is going to turn out. Mr. AJ getting his hair cut by a Chinese stylist. So far, so good. He's doing very well, though. Hello. Hello. How? Hello. How? This is Li Da Fei Chan, she wanted to touch my hair, you guys. So you guys, what had happened on this day was that I had just got my hair straightened out. I made a video about that. If you've not seen it, I'm going to link it somewhere. I just finished straightening my hair. This was the guy that did it for me and he was so nice. And so we decided, hmm, he's a barber, isn't he? Why don't we just take the time, you know, take the opportunity and just let him give Mr. EJ a haircut. On a normal day, I'm the one that does his haircuts at home, okay? So we, but we just decided to try them out and know what it would be like the process of barbing the hair actually started out really nice at the start he just seemed to know what he was doing he would use this comb and serve as a sort of barricade while he barbs the hair which is something that they do when barbing chinese people hair right and <laughs> you guys which it's legit went from zero to 100 <laughs> in a split second like at the point things just started going wrong um he 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 barbed the hair to a certain level and he was like is he okay like this we're like you know we wanted to go a little bit more down you know uh and then in in an effort to take it down the more he <laughs> he just destroyed my husband's hair <laughs> he like he took it real down and it, it was almost turning into something else i literally had to step in to save the situation like i took the clipper from him and then i began to arrange the hair in the best way i could <sighs> so this is me just taking over and trying to salvage the situation like i said okay i think here i had already finished with the hair and i was just shaving his beards and things like that but um, i i leveled up the hair and it wasn't looking very bad eventually and then i shaped it i think the barber also did some shaping but i also shaped it some more and then i shaved his beard area and all of that and at the end it was now looking like something like it actually came together <laughs> ah you guys did you see that clip of when the hair was looking like you know back back in those days when we used to go to secondary school uh, that's like high school in the west right and maybe you're, you're growing your hair and the school has told you not to you know grow your hair and maybe to barb your hair and then you're leaving your hair to still grow out and things like that one day the sanitary teacher will just you know come to the assembly ground and use scissors to <laughs> to design your hair like draw some very beautiful designs in the middle of your hair just in a bit to make sure that you eventually go home and shave everything off and you know barb your hair to standard that's for schools that don't allow plating because we had such schools back then in nigeria but i'm sure some of you can relate to what i just said that was what this hair was looking like it was looking like something that rats chop. I, <laughs> I was like, no, 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 never again. We're not, we're not doing this next time. 
we will stick to the home bar bins and then if there is need for it maybe we want to get like a really good haircut we can look for one of the um african africans around who also give like male ha- haircuts and yeah he will go there ah this this um it was looking good at first but eventually <laughs> eventually <laughs> And you know the funny thing, I had already been uh, hailing him, you know, like complimenting him, like, oh, you're bu- you barbing the hair so professionally. <laughs> I should have held on to my compliment first. <laughs> because they said the end justifies the means. I don't know if this end justified his own means. <laughs> oh, God. Look at our... Niha! <laughs> This man literally just dashed us watermelon, you guys. So, this is the result of Mr. EJ's haircut. Baby, how do you like your hair? <laughs> no <Well>, comment. <laughs> He said, oh my god. <sighs> the haircut was to God be the glory. But that time it looked really good. Now that after we were done with the whole trimming and everything, it looks good all together for you. But look at my not so sweet. Right? Mm, no, it's not very sugary. So, like I was saying, he loves his hair. I love you. <laughs> okay, you don't love your hair, right? <laughs> it's mama, ooh, ooh. Mama, ooh, ooh. That means just so so. And I think, I think it's a little better than mama, ooh, baby. Okay, mama, who eat the out. <laughs> He's literally translating what I'm saying, but I think the man tried, but then the hair looks good eventually. So, to God be the glory. Good thing you are done. <laughs>